Welcome back to Hardcore Power League, where if we die with the Brawler, it is eliminated, and we have so far lost Buzz and Gene, and we're making our way to Masters, hopefully. So let's get into some games. All right, first game is on Gold Arm Gulch. Now, if you guys remember, we almost lost Barley, and we did lose Gene on this map. So hopefully we can save Penny, but this is not a great Penny matchup. So I don't know why I picked it, but let's get into it. All right, here we go. First game, and this is the first game of the day, and I have not warmed up. So hopefully that's not going to affect us too bad. So they're gonna break the right or left side, excuse me, and that's not uh, that's not good for our surge. Surge is honestly gonna be pretty useless, uh, and it's gonna be up to me and B for a while. We are hitting some shots which is nice. We gotta be a little bit careful. Brock does counter us pretty hard. Surge needs some levels and I need my turret. So Leon's gonna die. So that's really good for us. Uh, and Mr. P's gonna get a couple shots in. We're also gonna get a couple shots off to Mr. P. We are one shot from our turret. Okay, another person down. Um, I don't know how that just happened, but B seems to be a Smurf. And the name kind of gives it away. So. I, I can just kind of tell by B's movement, and this should be a very easy game if that's the case because, well, gold people kind of die a lot, and that's kind of the truth, and if you're gold, you just need to focus on not dying, and look at that, me and B are going to be able to win that very smoothly, we have our turret, and uh, honestly, I hope I don't have to play this B in the future games because, well, I don't really want to have to play against a smurf, but we got the turret, we have all three gadgets, this game is looking very, very good. We're going to hit two shots onto the Brock. Got to heal up at this point because we are one shot. Brock Super is going to whiff. Surge does get a kill and is level three. That should not happen. Uh, if you're playing against a Surge, all you need to do is make sure you do not charge. And we're going to be able to get this kill and should be able to get it. Never mind, we didn't get the kill, but we should be able to get this kill 1v3. I'm not going to get 1v3'd again. One more win would be an epic win, so let's hope for it. Game 2, and so far, me and B haven't died, and that's honestly the key of knockout. I think that's pretty given. Now, I'm not sure where the Brock is. Actually, Brock's going to be right there. It does hit the big rocket. Uh, however, as long as we stay in the closer range to Brock, like this range, he can't really hit us. Now, if he's at the perfect range, it's very hard to dodge, so just keep that in mind when you're playing versus Brock. B dies. That's not ideal. Uh, Surge is gonna get his level very soon, actually, so we can probably win this if he doesn't die here. He does go down. This might be a little bit harder than, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if I can win a 1v3, but you know what? I'm going to try for it, and I need to get a kill pretty quickly, and I need a fast kill. So we're gonna go for the Leon here, and, uh, we're gonna not be able to get that. So now I'm kind of low, and, uh, I don't really know what to do, so I'm gonna die. And there's nothing really I could do, but I'm close to a turret, which is the good news. And uh, we do have a Surge level 2 here, he should just jump, we have level 2, so that's important. Level 3 is key, but level 2 is not bad. That goes the wall break, I'm gonna pop this, and we should be able to get a kill here. Pop the turret just in case, gonna stay around B and the turret, because we have no idea where this guy is. Uh, and there he is, we're gonna be able to kill him for sure. And that is the round win, Surge actually gets a double, so Surge is playing well as well. Um, and now we just need one more game, I'm gonna drop the turret here, and I think I should be able to protect it from the Brock. Brock is going to go right side, my turret is already popping off. Uh, B does go down, so maybe not a smurf? I don't know, if you're a smurf and you're watching this video, I'm sorry, but you probably shouldn't have died there. So this is getting a little bit uh, interesting. Oh, Brock's gonna take out my turret, but guess what, I have another one. For some... Okay, this is... I'm dead. We're actually gonna lose this. I don't think Surge can win this unless my turret just snipes Mr. P out of the blue and it's not gonna happen. So Surge is not gonna win this 1v3. I would be very, very, very impressed. Uh, and that's not gonna happen. That's not the case. So, game three, and I jinxed myself again. I mean, this is game three. I'm gonna go right side this time, uh, and hopefully it goes better. I'm not sure how that went so poorly this time, but we're gonna play in the bush. B's going to play outside the bush. We're gonna sneak... A little bit here. Oh my god. Oh my value. Oh my value. We just killed basically everybody. Even dropped the turret. I'm gonna walk up here. Juke that penny. Or Oh my god. I just... Oh my god. I got everything. Give me that one. Yes. I got all three kills. Nice. Well, it shows what switching sides can do. Uh, honestly, if you just kind of mix it up a little bit. But you don't want to suicide on this side either. So, you gotta play it smart, which I'm going to do. Brock does break, so I can't sneak up anymore. And I'm gonna just try to get... <sighs> Another teammate goes down. This is not how I like to play the game. I like to play 3v3, and now we are in a very bad spot. I need to heal. I need to run. Oh boy, Surge is also in a bad spot. This is not quite ideal, and I need my turret. Surge got to play very well here. I miss shots. Hopefully Surge can pop off. He might get a kill. Jump! Oh my god, he might be able to get another. He survives. 
Oh my god. Wait. Don't die. Don't die. Never mind. He's just the goat. He's the goat. Okay, I have a turret. I'm gonna place the turret. I also have a barrel. There's no way, Leon. Yeah, we win this. Very nicely done from Surge. And I think I played all right. I missed a couple shots, but Surge kind of clutches up. And we get that win. So after that pretty intense first game, our next matchup was on Double Swoosh. Now, honestly, this is one of those maps where I thought I could get a sneaky brawler in. And so I decided to play Sandy. Now, honestly, I didn't have that many bad matchups inside the game. The only matchup that was sort of tricky was supposed to be Spike. However, I actually triple tapped the Spike even at level 8. So it worked out pretty good in our favor. And I'd show you those games. However, there's some more exciting ones later in the video. We won those games pretty convincingly honestly just dominating from start to finish the whole team was playing well and that means our next match was going to be on gold arm gulch again and well since i've already showed the map once inside this video i'm not going to show you it again and we played barley here for the second time if you watch the first episode you'll recognize that we've played barley here a couple times i'm not suggesting it's the best pick there's other throwers that are better like tick or sprout however we were able to grab a barley for ourselves hopefully sneak out a win now it went pretty Pretty well the first round we were able to win but the second round didn't quite go so well it seems like gold players do like to die a little bit too much so it had to go to game three and we'll show you the ending of game three just because of how crazy it actually was okay that's not bad I'm gonna get in a very bad spot here I don't want to be close to them I want to be as far as possible away I'm gonna go for this penny here Penny's getting a little too aggressive for my liking so we're gonna be able to hit the penny once maybe twice Three times. Oh, the Poco heal. I don't know how Poco gets healed, but it's fine. There is a Penny turret. That's not ideal. We're going to pop a gadget about right now because they're coming in. Knock him away. Buzz misses the... Okay, we get a kill. Oh, my God. Buzz, I need... Buzz, I need you to hit something. He did hit something. What? Oh, my God. Where was the healing coming from? We won that round. But what an intense one. Uh, so we just saved Marley. And we are getting our way to Diamond 2. Well, hopping into the Ring of Fire, I ended up picking Jesse just because I thought I could get away with one. And they have a very, very strong comp. So this one's going to be tough. All right, here we go. Now we're picking the Jesse. We're going to have to pop off because Jesse is an interesting pick here. Now it can work, which we're going to get one shot. Team's going crazy right now. There's a Griff in our spawn. I'm in a very interesting spot. There is the. What? What just happened? What just happened? I'm getting spawn trapped. There's no lanes whatsoever. Can I juke the... Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? Please! Oh my god, I'm alive? I'm alive. And we got so much time. They're right there, Poco. Please. Oh my god, what is going on in Diamond? It's just running it down. Ash missed like 30 auto-aim shots. One, two, three... Okay, I was hitting 46 to 5. This is awesome. Meg gets one, two tapped. Oh no. Is this where it goes all downhill? Poco's running it down. Can we pop the gadget? We don't even get the slow. There goes our turret. Meg's got mech though. Can we hit some shots? There's a swipe. Meg gets healed. We, our comp is kind of good. The Poco Meg is kind of just working. I don't even understand. We hit one shot. We hit two shots. We kill the Griff. We're grabbing some time. Get this slow onto, or kill this. Oh my God, it's over. Our comp is good. Their comp is crazy. Honestly, I think their comp should win 100%. But, I don't know. We're hitting shots. We Our Poco's just healing our Meg. Like, our Meg is always in mech. I don't understand. This is what happens in these games, guys. And we're going to win them. And we're going to make our way, hopefully, to higher ranks very shortly. Stick in it. A couple percent. There we go. We get the win. And that game was was wild. After we got that first win on Ring of Fire, the second round was basically the same. Zero strategy was involved. Both teams just kind of ran it down the mid, and uh, luckily we were able to power through hitting a ton of shots with Jesse, getting a ton of turrets, and that means we were getting pretty close to Diamond 2 with only losing two brawlers so far. And let's just say the interesting plays from these players are not going to stop in these next games. The next game we ended up playing was on Crystal Arcade, and well, after the draft finished, I realized we don't even have a mid brawler we had ash griff and nita and i was gonna play nita side and i was starting to think that they were gonna force me to go nita mid however we ended up just making it work uh, we actually kind of dominated those games pretty heavily we had two winning lanes and we just always won lane i mean i don't even know if i died much i had bear on the map 
the entire time. The Daryl was just feeding me bear absolutely left, right, and center. So we got those wins, and that means we were really close to Diamond 2. Now hopping into the next game, which was going to be on Pit Stop. Now this one, I was feeling really good. We haven't lost yet, and this is a map that I probably could get away with Colt. And so, well, I'll just let you watch this entire game. We are now defending, which is not ideal when we have a Gale on the team. I suggested the Gale, actually. We're gonna pop a gadget. We're gonna try to do some damage here. He's playing, oh my God, he's actually doing the right thing. We're gonna super him though. We're gonna get so much damage. There is a bear coming, which is not great. I'm gonna try to full clip. There's the bear. I'm going to have to destroy this as fast as possible, and it's not looking good. Why is the Gale on offense? I should have not told him to pick Gale if you're going to play offense. Please. Please. Oh, my God. Don't don't die here. Don't die here. Actually, we're winning, though. You know what? We're playing pretty good defense for being a Colt. I should just go offense, though. We do get the kill onto the Nita, which is super important. Try to pop some shots here. We're going to BB on defense. That's actually pretty good trade. I'm going to super the save. This is where we get a ton of damage. Nita's gonna also get us another free super, basically. Hopefully, Gale supers. Super. Thank you. A little late, but thank you. And at this point, we have 41 HP. We're just gonna go for another super onto the save. Get so much damage. Gotta be a little bit careful here. More and more damage coming in. We're gonna try to get the uh, bull, which we do. We have another super. I'm gonna hold this one a little bit longer because I knew I was probably gonna get jumped on. The BB's gonna go down. Could super the uh, the Edgar at this point get a kill? But it's not looking like that's going to happen. We're going to try to super the bull. Honestly, breaking up the map. I kill the Edgar in the back. Super again. Get another kill. Popping off with the Colt. That is why I picked it. And at this point, Bubble goes down across the map. Actually, almost comes back and hits the Nita. Gale should be able to just blow the Nita away. Get the kill. There we go. Actually, really well done by the Gale. Should be able to get that one as well. 12%. We are going to win this game. There's no way we lose. I have the Gale protecting me. I'm going to super this safe. Probably do almost 12 myself. He can the bull supering across to block my uh, to block my super, which won't work, bull. Try to get a little bit more damage in. Edgar's going to go one shot. I just need a couple more shots, and I get my super. I'm just going to go for it. There is the super. That's going to be the game, and we are popping off with Colt. All right, game two, and if you're playing this map, just know if, they, if you're playing a brawler like Gale, you should be the one defending this bull because a good bull would beat a good Colt uh, any day. And at this point, I just need to pop a gadget. I'm going to auto him a couple shots because you do basically guarantee at least one tag. There we go. We do get the bull. And uh, we are going to start just running up. I'm going to leave the Gale to defend. Actually, I don't even know where Gale is. There's the Gale. Nita's going to go really low here. Got to be a little bit careful. Nita does have powered up or whatever damage gear that does so much damage. But we're on the safe with the gadget. We're going to do absolutely so much damage that's 50 percent already this tornado almost protects me doesn't quite do it but 45 percent left on their safe they're ignoring our teammates i could just uh, you know what you know what i'm gonna do this it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna run up and uh they're giving up anyway pop another gadget that is going to be the win and we are probably gonna get diamond two from this game if they have any sort of elo to give probably got it there we go diamond two guys and we are climbing like crazy next video we'll open some boxes hopefully unlock a new brawler giving us an extra life inside of the series however that is going to be it for this one we won every single game not really that many close calls a couple of the here and there however we were playing very very well uh, if you guys want to see more of the series make sure you guys like and subscribe so that way i know you want to see more but either way hope to see you in the next one peace